CAT, Gonioscopy Assisted Transluminal Trabeculotomy, Powerful Glaucoma Surgery. Since its first description in 1969, GAT has been a widespread surgical technique for glaucoma. Previous studies showed the effectiveness of GAT in glaucoma, namely in secondary changes in trabecular meshwork, but also in primary open-angle glaucoma and even after failed trabeculectomies. Nevertheless, if we want to properly get, we must respect the indications and contraindications of this technique. We must also learn how to prevent and manage complications. Être ou ne pas être. First, position the patient adequately and stop blood thinners. Use a low temperature cautery to melt one end of the suture. Use an angular position, do a goniotomy, use cohesive viscoelastic to remove the bleeding and to clear your view. Using an iris microforceps, we insert the 5-0 proline through the goniotomy and into the Schlems canal. We pull the suture centripetally so that we rip off the internal part of the Schlems canal performing a trabeculotomy. The most important pearl for the surgery is to have a good view. The surgery had important bleeding for which uh, just the right amount of viscoelastic exactly in the Schlems canal was used and in the goniotomy, just enough to be able to penetrate in uh, the goniotomy and through the Schlems canal. Or you can use a very big amount of viscoelastic um, to clear the view. There is no problem in using a lot of viscoelastic. The important is to make sure that you go from one direction, for example, from the right to the left, to avoid parting the seas or to avoid having him in the in the room. After clearing out the hemorrhage, we have a much better view and we can continue performing the rest of the GAT. A second pearl would be to avoid going to the suprachoroidal side. Don't go into the dark side. In this video, we can see that the tip of the proline suture immediately dives down. In these cases, first we clear out the view of the hemorrhage associated, we perform, if needed, an anterior goniotomy, and we try to direct the proline suture as anterior as possible. After you're comfortable with the surgical GAT technique, you can start innovating. Here we can appreciate, thanks to the RT800 that has intraoperative OCT, we can appreciate the detail of the proline suture during the trabeculotomy and also after doing the trabeculotomy we will be able to assess the suture with some blood and after removing the suture with the forceps we can see some opening in the iridocorneal angle in the Schleim's angle. An endoscopic cat can also be performed, which is particularly useful when the cornea is opaque. Several other techniques can also be performed, namely um, venography that orientates gats, among others. So if you still question whether to get or not, GAT is a useful weapon against glaucoma. Thank you for listening.